Oh, <laughs> hi there, friends. You you caught me uh, gawking. I was just looking up and wondering what Jesus was up to today. So, hello, this is Mr. Matt, and I have your children's sermon for the last Sunday in our Easter season. And I was looking up because the story that we heard from the Acts of the Apostles today uh, was all about the ascension of Jesus. And... Uh, I was just sort of imagining being one of the apostles and looking up and watching as Jesus finished his work here on earth and he had finished um, appearing to the disciples after he was resurrected to show them that he was really alive. And they were all gathered around and Jesus had said it was time for him to return to the Father, to return to heaven. And so he said, but don't worry, I am always with you and I'm going to send the Holy Spirit to you so that you can continue the work that I've started, that you can be my witnesses in all of the world. And after he finished saying that, he lifted up he, and he went up into the sky and a cloud came and carried him to heaven. And as you can expect, all of the disciples were amazed by this and they're looking and they're watching and they're watching as Jesus goes up to return to heaven. Now, even after they probably couldn't see Jesus anymore, the disciples were still there. They're still looking up and they're still wondering, wow, that was amazing. And while they're doing that, two figures in white appear with them and they say, what are you guys doing? Why are you standing around looking up, watching where Jesus went? Jesus is going to return when it is time, but for now you have things to do. You have things to get ready for. And that sort of reminded the apostle, oh yeah, we need to, uh, we need to get ready. We need to uh, go and wait for the Holy Spirit to come to us so we can do what Jesus needs us to do. And so they returned to where they were saying to wait for the Holy Spirit to come to them. Now, these two figures appear in, in white who appear to the disciples. Um, this is not the first time we've heard this in the Easter season. You might remember back on Easter Sunday when we're, we're talking about the story of Easter and what happened with the resurrection of Jesus. On the morning of Easter, Mary Magdalene and some of the other women go to the tomb because they need to finish preparing the body of Jesus for burial. They didn't get a chance to do that before the Sabbath came. So they go early in the morning and they go to the tomb and they find it empty. Jesus' body is not there. And while they're at the tomb wondering what's going on, these two figures appear to the women and they say, what are you doing? Why are you looking for Jesus in this tomb. This isn't where Jesus is. He is alive. He is resurrected. And you have a job to do. You have to go tell people this good news. So when I hear the story of these two, these white clothed figures appearing, you know, the angels coming and saying, what are you people doing at the beginning of the Easter story and at the end of our Easter season, it makes me think that maybe there's something that the scriptures are trying to tell us. And I think what the scriptures are trying to say is this, it's great that you love Jesus. It's great that you are amazed by him and that you're looking in the world for him. But these angels are also telling us, but you have a job to do. You can't stand around and just be in awe of Jesus all of the time. You have a job to do. You're supposed to go share the good news of Jesus. You're supposed to go share the fact that Jesus does these wondrous things and that God does these amazing things for us every day. We're not supposed to stand around just looking up, wondering what Jesus is up to today and going, I wonder if I'm going to see him. No, we're supposed to Go out and share that, share the love, share the story of Jesus. And the angels that we see at both the Easter story 
and at Ascension are reminders that sometimes we need a little bit of a push to go do the things we're supposed to do. It's okay to get that push, but it's really important to remember that we're supposed to go out and love and serve Jesus every day and not just stand around waiting for him. So I hope you have a wonderfully blessed week. Until we can be together again, remember how much God loves you. Remember how much your parish family loves you. And remember how much your family at church, your Sunday school teachers, and I love you. Look forward to seeing you too soon. Until then, bye-bye.